Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Om Sireti. Welcome to the lecture. And uh, this video is all about the deep learning project. And uh, this is a first uh, project I'm introducing in my channel. And upcoming, uh, we have going do so many projects on the different types of deep mm -hmm. like languages mm -hmm. like deep learning and language processing and analysis in the Python. And uh, in this uh, video, I am like, going to do the project on uh, brain tumor detector using the deep learning. And in this uh, deep learning, we use a technique like uh, VGG16 or VGG19 model uh, to predict the values. And let's begin the project. And if, at first, we want to initialize the, uh, some of the libraries uh, which we necessary, like uh, mat, matpot, uh, lib dot, matplotlib dot inline. display and including OS and import mat what we are required the mat import I'm importing the fondas for reading the data set as uh, pd and uh, I'm importing num by as bmp import mat plot lib matplotlib dot pipe plot as p evaluation for this evaluation purpose matlab is used and I am importing tensorflow tensorflow here as uh, pdf and uh, for some of the mathematical characters in matrix like string c we use uh, sklearn because uh, which type of uh, matrix characterization we can use from tensorflow i am importing the characters so i am using the by using the tensorflow only i am doing this uh, deep learning project here of and from and here of dot uh, pre processing Processing dot image import image data segment to create the uh, data segments uh, for the images. We use this uh, image data segment. Okay, and uh, I'm putting np dot randomly and using uh, some of the things random seeds. Uh, like uh, TensorFlow also have a random seed, random seed set, set seed equals to 40. Like so here the pipe plot, yeah. some error is happen. Man plot leaving here. Yeah. execution it have take some time because i am using my local mission so you can use in local or your local mission or uh, or in your uh, collab or the collab also we have write some of the local mistakes in your what i did in front of you only i will also learn what i mistake i have done and uh, everything Take some time to execute. After execution, we move to next step is we need to initialize some initial parameters. Initially, parameters are uh, Three, 
because uh, image size is represented between the height and width uh, that is uh, the image size is 224 comma 224 size and the next one is i'm showing the back i'm using the back 64 this batch size is required uh, in the transformer uh, in the model so, uh, either you can slice directly or you can slice it here also i will slice it's taking too much of time to execute it. just wait a second is there anything i have done that wrong just crop Did perfectly and i am in slicing also completed now i need i know to the i read the data set in my local mission so it contain here my it contain here so that for case i'm using the data equals to I'm passing the path of my data rain to you the code data Set path is exactly located. Yeah, now our data set path is uh, perfectly get it. So, uh, here uh, this is the thing, and I want to divide that data set into parameters and validation test for images projections. So, that there is a set, a small, uh, there is a code which is used to convert this uh, whole images. My our data set, my data set can time it here has both s or nodes where s is a tumor it contains the tumors and where the no is uh, it is all the images contained in our data set and where no represent uh, node holder represented that there is no brain tumor contained so this is the data set of which i contain and uh, now i need to show, uh, show that data set which is contained the tumor or not so i write some basic code for that and using the function def image code generator importing the height of the height the arm width and frame for the imaging size equal to height equal to three two four comma two two four image generator I'm calling I'm data generate equals to generating generating data generator image generator so i need to generate the images uh, in the scale of um, rescale rescale equals to i'm rescaling the images uh, one point divided by it is a 225 is a uh, image size so exactly image size and is carrying into 1.5 1 so and then and validation I'm causing the validation split into so this is the thing and again now we need to Show the data set, time data set, and value. Then data set like yes or no. For that case, I am writing one variable. Taking exactly the value now. So data equals to data generate. So I am all the data set generated into data set. So data generate dot flow underscore uh, from the So this is the data set they are generated from the flow this uh, data generate and the uh, data is uh, data time data set is accessed from the flow of gen uh, dictionary which i have stored in my local drive this okay. and that for that i am giving the path where i am giving the data comma We have initialized the batch size as a 64, or we can directly initialize the batch size. But previously, I have initialized the initial. 
I say this was a 60. I say this was the bad way. Capital equals to true. And the class mode, class mode equals to binary. Target size. What? What? Which target we have going to to four comma two to four? Like that uh, target size equals to like five comma six. Yes. And the next one we are going to give the classes. Helps to. data set it contain zero come on and s now same as we need to do train that is validation data validation data equals to same thing i want to perform so simply I just copy over here and paste it. Same thing I want to done for the cat mode. So for training data set, it is for the test data set. Same as thing I want to perform like that. So finally we I need to return the values. Here. Return the Getting the prime data underscore valid data. So I need to return these two types of data. And for trying purpose, prime data, comma, validated data equals to Causing the what I have initialized here function as image generator height. So height, width, height and width. And now total image equals to empty dot. I am total images. What I have for 10 test and test data. I am concatenating that total images trained and validation data. That the empty dot con concatenated underscore train data. I am concatenating the whole the train data and into the labels. I'm going to print that uh, I'm going to print that uh, I'm going to print that uh, number of no brain to no from the data set no no brain to you number two mark so that we can find the length of np dot where it denotes the where total images equals to zero and indicate zero. I 
has been i have done in for uh, from the data set uh, how many members are contained by in tumor and how many members are that not contain the brain tumor same syntax i'm using where she shows the one it uh, it will it shows the This is a code which I have done. So it, this code is represented that uh, how many all the data sets is con converted into uh, training data and validation data. And uh, finally, we will print that from the data set how many members are contained brain tumor. Members are not contained brain tumor. It execute. It will show us uh, founded 253 images below the two classes. And number of uh, brain tumor is uh, 196. And, uh, and no brain tumor is. Uh, Brain tumor contain people have ten members are contain brain tumor from the data. So for image visualization, visual visualization, we use matplotlib for the image visualization. Figure A X equals to figure A X equals to plot dot. I'm drawing the subplot of uh, Part of uh, two comma four comma figure size is equals figure figure size is ten comma seven. So it shows the images. Uh, figure size is ten commas. Figure dot uh, sub. subtitle of uh, brain to I'm giving the title as the brain brain underscore tuber underscore and this code is uh, I'm plotting the subplot is equals to I'm putting the title as brain tumor pictures and this code will help to the how many uh, brain tumor content and how many people are not content brain tumors within the range of eight and this is our images, images uh, which have here the one label one denote it is a contain a brain tumor and label zero denote that it is uh, does not contain a brain tumor of a person. And the next uh, I'm passing a single neuron then layer, so a single layer that is I'm using the model as uh, VGZ19 it is very useful model and uh, we have get approximately uh, high better accuracy from performances from this. So from tensorflow.keras.layers, I'm experimentally I'm inputting the pre-processing, and here the T T of dot uh, where is T of is the tensorflow, Keras backend clear section input size is weight and uh, into three. So this is the two two four and the, it is the three dimensions of the dimensions of a uh, dimensions of the uh, size of a layer, and this is the base model I'm creating the first base model T of dot Keras dot applications on VGG at VGD and initializing the weights H uh, image dot net uh, including top false input size is input size and base model is trainable equals to false. So next uh, base model is trainable equals to false and next I'm creating VGG19 TF dot keras dot sequencer and I'm process I'm adding the base model into VGG and that after hidden layer I am processing I'm creating the flatten layer and flat layer and performing the denser equals to one and I'm passing the activated function is sigmoid. And finally, we uh, VGG19 compiles the last function binary cross entropy, binary cross entropy and optimizer I using Adam optimizer 0 0.01 and matrix is accuracy. So uh, uh, after uh, VGG19 the summary, we get this model is sequential and layer is a, the params as list functionals and non flattened layers. These are the things we can have get uh, uh, total parameters is uh, 20,000 plus uh, 20 lakhs plus parameters are user trainable parameters are 25,000 plus and non trainable meta parameters are two lakh, 20 lakhs plus. So these are the things uh, after summarizing. Next now fit the we want to fit the VGG19 model. So for that case history equals to fit VGG19 fit. I am pausing the training data and validation data and I am just pausing the five epochs. Using the five epochs, we have get approximately 0.78% of uh, accuracy. 
uh, if you use uh, more than five epochs like the, if you use the 20 25 epochs you can get approximately 95 plus accuracy so uh, when you get uh, 95 plus accuracy or uh, near to the one if that model is uh, very perfect so this uh, single statement uh, can clear that uh, we can find that how many how much of accuracy what is the validation losses and the validation accuracy loss percentage these are all things uh, contained in this uh, statement and the next one is i'm st we have i want to evaluate the training data and validation data for that train result equals to vgg19 evaluate train data and i like that only uh, validation validation result equals to vgg19 evaluate evaluate the validation data so uh, now we can form this uh, data set so we can combine the time data and validation data as a simple index like time loss and the loss accuracy so we get finally loss and accuracy index as the uh, time data is loss time is equals to 1.80 and validation loss is equals to 1.80 same as accuracy time accuracy is equals to 0.80 it means 80 percent of accuracy is you clearly done and uh, these are the things uh, based on loss and accuracy of we get and finally uh, this this uh, block of code uh, helps to find the uh, visualization graphs uh, between the training accuracy and validation accuracy this uh, this block code helps to find the training accuracy and this block code uh, helps to the loss of uh, training and validation losses so this is a uh, two blocks or uh, two diagrams which is here the at first uh, where g uh, where blue line indicates that training accuracy at training uh, at starting it's a uh, high value and uh, it's moving into the decreased and again it's uh, constantly increased like that uh, whereas uh, validation accuracy and initially it is low value and uh, up one upon uh, we are when you perform n number of epochs it will go to increases like this this whole the things are happened in this brain tumor so by using this uh, data set we have find approximately 80 percent of the uh, brain tumor contain pupils are contained brain tumor by using this uh, data set i hope you are all understand about this video please uh, make sure uh, try to increase the box that will in help to get a better accuracy i hope you are all understand about this uh, brain tumor detector project and please show make like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends who needed these types of projects for their beginner levels and resume types and so uh, in upcoming sections i will be able to do so many projects from beginner to advanced level and please like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates okay friends enjoy the learning bye bye